What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to explore the results tab for our Clash Detective. Okay, so from the previous video, we have explored the Rules tab and then the Select tab. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, we need to create a Clash test. Okay, so I'm going to select Add Test. Let's click that one and then let's rename this. Right click, Rename. Okay, and then we are going to put, uh, let's say, mechanical versus sprinkler. Okay, uh, rename. Mechanical <clears throat> versus sprinkler. Okay, and then enter. Right. And then, okay, so let me just show you how to modify the settings here so we know that we have this type hard hard conservative clearance and duplicate so let's say for example i'm gonna create a clash detection with a clearance of let's say uh 50 uh how about 50 mm point zero zero five oops so one two three okay all right, so let's say I'm going to create a clash test with a clearance of uh, 50 mm. Okay, so meaning to say any clashes with the, or any elements, two elements with a clearance or with a distance of 50 millimeters below, Navis Works will consider it as a clash. But more than 50 mm, Navisworks will not consider that as a clash. So basically, that's how our uh, clearance of 50 mm works. Okay, so for this one, on my select tab, for my selection A, so I'm just going to use here standard. So I'm going to click the expand button here and I'm going to use uh, mechanical on the selection A and then on the selection B, I'm going to use sprinkler. Although I can make it more specific by expanding the mechanical NWC, I can select from here and then I can select more to be specific, but I don't want to do that. I want all the mechanical versus the sprinkler with the clearance of 50 mm. All right. Okay, so we have discussed the rules tab and then the select tab last video. So if you want to have a review, you can just go back to that video. Now I'm going to run now the test. Okay, so I'm going to select run test. And then right up the vet, uh, Navisworks will have a clashes here of 127. Okay, so like for example, on our results tab, automatically is now selected after you run the test. So you can now see here all the clashes in your uh, project. Okay, so you have here 127 clashes. So this is a new clash. Okay, so 127 clashes. And if you are going to run again the clash, so let's say, for example, later on, you're going to change the, the rules on your clash test. So when you run again the clash, you will be having a new clashes here if there's a new clash. And then the old clash that you still have will going to be looks active. Okay, it will be placed on the active tab. All right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to click Clash 1. Anyway, it's already selected. So it's now highlighted here. So I'm going to orbit my model. So there you go. So there's my Clash 1. And then I also have my Clash number 2. Orbit. Okay. Right. So you can also go to your Clash 127. And then if you will notice this Clash 127 here. Let me just zoom out. There is actually no clash, right? But since we have specified the clearance of 50 mm, if we are going to move this slider to the right, so you can see here that it's uh, 29 mm. So it's within the clearance, right? That's why Navisworks read this one as a clash. Okay, so although there is no clash on that, but since we place a clearance of 50 mm, Okay, so any distance 
below 50 mm navis works will consider it as a clash okay so this is how you check that one out all right now so let's say for example for this one for the clash 127 for you this is not a clash so what you can do is you can actually change the status okay so instead of new you can click the drop down arrow here and then you can specify if that one is already active so like for example it's already a clash before that you haven't done anything yet so you can put that as an active or you can put a review or you can put approve if that clash is approved or you can just simply select here it's already resolved so it's not a clash so i'm just gonna make that resolve so you will notice here so it will become yellow and then notice your tab resolved here so you now have one resolve you have 127 clashes and then you have only 126 now because one is already resolved okay so like for example my clash 125 so i'm gonna select that one again let me just zoom out orbit my model so notice that it's not actually a clash right but since it's within the clearance so navis work reads it as a clash so let's say i'm gonna change the status here i'm gonna select here resolve okay so i now have to resolve here now if you want all of these resolve clashes to be removed from your uh, current clash here because they are not a clash say for example so what you can do is you can look for this icon here so you can select compact okay so you can select that icon so compact so it clear resolve clashes from your current test okay so if i select this one it will clear the result so let's check this out so let's select this one and there you go so you now have 127 new clashes and resolve now is zero so it's now removed so that's how you do it so let's say for example uh you do not know what to do with the clash but you know the team that can help you to solve the clash so you can change again the status so you can or i mean you can put here assign sorry this one so you can assign responsibility for the selected clashes so let's say for example for clash 100 up to 105 so i'm going to hold the shift i'm going to select clash 100 hold the shift and then click clash 105 so they are now all selected okay so you can select here assign so you can click that one and then you can now put the name here so assign to so let's say this is for the fire team and then you can put a notes here so please resolve okay or any notes that you want and then after that you just select here okay so once you select okay so there is now an icon there one right so meaning it's already assigned and if you are going to move the slider down so you can now see here that it is now assigned to fire team okay and then you can also create a group okay so that's why there is an icon here group so let's say for example for clashes uh, 50 to let's say 70 so again i'm gonna hold the shift and then i click clash 70 okay and then you can now select your group so create a new empty clash group so you can select that one and then after that you can now specify the name here so let's say this is for the fire team one enter okay and then after that it's now assigned and then if you're going to move the slider down here okay wait oh so it's a blank or so it's a blank one so let me just select this one let me select sorry this one group oh so that's how you make it 
Okay, and then just change the name here. Sorry about that. So that's how you create the group. Okay, because the one that I did earlier, it's that one is for uh, empty group. So that's the meaning, right? So it create a new empty clash group. But if you want to assign a whole group, clash are already there. So you can just select all the clashes that you want to group, hold the shift, and then you select this icon. Okay, not this one because it will create a new empty clash group. Okay, all right. So let me just remove this one. So sorry about that. So I'll just right click this one. Mm. Select uh, this one. So explode the group. There you go. Right. Okay, so that's how you group. So you know already how to create a group or clash. You know already how to assign. So by the way, if I'm going to move the slider down and then move down here, you can see the assigned uh, clashes to a certain team. So you know already how to do that. And then you know already how to create a group for the clash. Okay, and then you can also specify the status here. Okay, so what else that we can do here? Okay, you can also go to these options here of highlighting. Okay, so as you can see, there's that one. There's the item two. If you want to deselect and then if you want to select, just click that. So basically, you can toggle on and off the item one and then the item two. And then you can specify here the color. So use item color or use status color. The status is here. Okay, so these are the status colors, right? So by default, so use item colors is selected. And then what else? So you can also highlight all the clashes here. So you can click that one and then it will highlight all the clashes. Okay. And what else? So that's for the fire team, right? So you can I, I selected the, the fire team and then it's now selected here. So highlight all the clashes, so it's now already selected. Now, so let's say, for example, I'm going to change the rule, okay, of my clash. So I go to the select here, so I'm going to change the settings. So instead of clearance of um, 50 mm, I'm going to make that zero. Okay, and then once you enter, it will run again the clash detective tool, and then you will now see here that you now have here. 41 clashes so it's now a little more realistic without the clearance okay so basically what i did is i just selected this one i selected here zero and then just press enter or click run test okay so as you can see so they are already active here because they are clashes from our first uh test so we just did one and then as you can see we now have here resolve items so these are not clashes anymore so if you click that one so that's the one that i'm talking about see that is already resolved because that one is not a clash again if you're going to move the slider down there so it's 0 0.029 right so it's not zero so that's why that one is resolved so I can now select here, compact to remove all the resolve clashes. There you go. So I now have here only 35. So basically, that's how you do that one. Okay, and then um, what else? So you also have an option here for isolation. So what you can do is you can uh, dim the other elements. As you can see, uh, the other elements here are dimmed. So you can also select your hide other. Okay, it will only highlight your clashes. Okay, or you can select dim other to show the other elements here. And then you also have here transparent dimming. So you can uncheck that one. And then you can check to make it transparent. Okay, this one is auto reveal. That one, auto reveal. Okay, so that's how you do that one. Okay, the isolation highlighting and then viewpoint auto update okay i don't modify this one but you can also change the animate 
transitions here. So basically, whenever you select a clash, there's an animation, right? Something like that, right? So that's an animation. So if you just want to go back straight to the clash, just uncheck that one and then click one clash here. And then the Navis works. As you can see, it will now just go to that particular clash without any animation, right? Okay. But you can select that one to animate transition. Okay, so basically it's not that difficult. So that's how you explore your uh, results. Okay, so you have here different columns, status, levels, greed, found, approved. Okay, and then a description assigned to distance. Okay, right? So on our next video, so let's try to explore the reports tab. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.